All right, guys, so in today's video, um, we're gonna be talking about how to play PS1 games here on Arch. Um, Cause you know, I, I wanted to play Silent Hill. I've started watching a whole bunch of videos about Silent Hill and I've really gotten into it. And so I just wanted to share a little bit of knowledge. So here, what we're gonna be using is EPSXE, uh, Enhanced PSX Emulator. Um, and so uh, really all you've got to do is go over here to the AUR and I will go over here. I haven't installed it or anything. The only thing that I've done is gotten um, my uh, old, um, uh, well, I found my old PS1 because I, I thought I would just go ahead and go about the process of removing the BIOS file from it. And then I realized I don't have anything to be able to do that. So I just downloaded it. But um, on top of that, I also got the ROM for the Silent Hill uh, that I want to play um, ready to go. And so let's go ahead and we're going to copy this um, because I don't use um, any like AUR helpers at all. And so we're just going to do a git clone and then that link address. And we're going to clone it. And then we're going to CD into it. Um, and then we're going to run a make package. And just install this bad boy. And there we go. And there we go. All right. So now that it is all installed, all we need to do is uh, we need to um, add our... Uh, add yourself to the games group. So we'll user mod um, dash G user mod. Oh wait, hold on. I believe we'll have to do this as sudo. Sudo uh, user mod dash G games. Um, oh, and we also need to read that little excerpt right here. If the group does not exist, we need to create it. So group add games. It does already exist. Perfect. Okay. So uh, user mod dash G uh, games and dash A and my username is Zany. Oh, we do have to run that with sudo. Bada bing, bada boom. All right. So now that we are in there, we should be able to just launch it. Um, and we are going to need to configure it next. So let's go ahead and um, I will launch it. Uh, EPSX. Come on now. XE. All right. Perfect. So we've got it installed. So now let's see what we need to do. Configure it. Um, let's go into config. Um, BIOS, um, select BIOS file. So let's go in here into my home folder and I have my PS1 files here. We've got that. Click OK. And um, video and config sound respectively and configure the plugins that you want. All right. Um, <laughs> do we need to do anything yet? I don't think so. I don't think so. So let's just go ahead and see if we can run our um, game from the ISO. All right. Well, all I had to do was just run the bin file and not be an idiot, but sweet. So we now have Silent Hill running, epic. Um, and you're not gonna be hearing any of the audio cause I didn't spend any time setting up OBS uh, for the desktop audio cause I'm not gonna be playing through the game. I just wanted to show you guys, uh, sorry about that, a quick and easy way where you, you could get a PS1 game up and running and uh, don't be like me and think the dot bin is not an ISO. It is, it is, you're all good to go. But yeah, so, I mean, it just astounded me that like, I, I just thought, hey, what if I wanted to play some ROMs and play some PS1 games? 
I was surprised at how easy it is to do here on Arch, just like it is in Windows. Um, hadn't tried it, so I was expecting to, you know, here it was quite a bit more difficult or uh, it was you were much more prone to just not working on Linux. But as you can see, works great. Works no problem right out of the box. So I'm astounded at the performance here and just how easy it was to get up and running. So hopefully this helps you out and um, I'll put any links in the description for EPSX here um, so you can go get it. Um, and yeah, uh, I hope you guys have a great rest of the day. Thank you for stopping by and watching the video. And um, I will see you guys in the next one that won't be in like two months because my upload schedule is garbage. You're welcome. I'll see you guys. See ya.